Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Mega Shadow Fist, and welcome back to Resonance of Fate. And when we last left off, we finished Chapter 12, actually, and uh, now we have a full party and everything. I, I just before we begin, there's something that I wanted to say though. Uh, customize, that's what I need to do. I actually decided to equip stuff on, um, the newer, more powerful gun. Um, as you can see, I couldn't quite fit the super large barrel on there, so we had to decrease in, I guess, bullet capacity. Also, the second number, uh, that 8% in the original gun, it was 11%, but I can't really fit anything in there, so we had a 3% drop in that. But overall, despite the fact that we have less stuff on here, it's actually a bit better than what we had before, so... I don't know, just one of those things. I forgot to equip this in the uh, previous game, or previous game, in the previous recording session, and it kind of bothered me a bit, so uh, just one of those things. So let's go ahead and continue. To chalkboard, I did not... Let's go advance to the next chapter. I did not do the side mission because of time constraints for, uh, time constraints for the day. Chapter, chapter 12, end. Would you like to save your progress? Yes, please. Over. Slot 3. Last save is 25 hours into this. I think we might actually beat this quicker than how long to beat said that it was uh, this game is supposed to be. I believe how long to beat said this game is supposed to be like 47 hours? Well, something like that. It was, it, was, it was in the 40s, but we're 32 hours in, and we might end up being like 37 hours. Maybe, who knows. Why それは楽器はプレゼントもらえるや喜ぶさ。でも俺たちは何でもやじゃねえんだぜ。違うの？ま、似たようなもんじゃね。じゃあ決定。クリスマスはみんなでプレゼントくだり。反対なの？本当にや
Wait, is Allcut the guy? Is he like the bar guy? Or who are you? No, that's, this is Bobby. He says something about the Dakota Vane. The rights for the Dakota Vane? That's been resolved. Turns out it was all one big stupid misunderstanding. Okay. You don't look like an Allcut. Are you an Allcut? <laughs> Charles. The Feast of the Prelate and Christmas are my two highest grossing days of the year. That's great. Uh, I know, it's just a, like a, a little backstory. Normally, I can, normally, um, actually, like, if I were playing this by myself, I'd probably have to, like, talk to every NPC if I could, but, you know, recording and everything. I don't know. One of those things. It's just, uh, when I... I think we need to go... Hold on, before I go into that thought, I'm going to mission memo. Uh, Teresa, you're aware that we organize an annual Christmas event in the Square Garden of Chandelier, aren't you? I'm in need of volunteers to distribute gifts to children at the party. I'm so sorry about the short notice, but could you do this as a favor to me? Okay, sure. No big deal. I mean, we kind of have to, anyway, if we want to, uh, progress the story. Uh, I'm, we need to go and save first before we continue. I really been six... Oh, for a second... Nah, no, six minutes really isn't that long. For a second, I thought maybe we've been recording for a lot longer than that, but, um... Well, as you can tell, I'm no longer, like, super sick like I was last week, although, um, I wasn't really that sick. You couldn't even really tell very much in Presence of Fate, anyway. And Ace Attorney, you could definitely tell that my, vo my voice was definitely not there for the entire thing, but for this, what? Not so much. I don't know, it's just one of those things. But anyway, that's just, like, one of those things, like, when I compare, like, my series to, say, like, Kratos' series, like, one thing I notice is, like, he's very, very, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, like, uh, very curious, like always, like going out of the way to check every nook and cranny of all, uh, like of everything, and talking to every single NPC and getting as much information as he can. Um, it, I'm not really like that. Like I can, I can sort of be like that. Um, like when I'm doing like casual play and whatnot, but like for core recording purposes, not so much. But even then, if I was casual playing, not so much either. I don't know. I'm just not like super, like naturally curious like that. Like if anything, the only reason I'd really do it is not really for curiosity, like, uh, like, to, like, go, like, alternating paths and, like, um, RPGs and JRPGs and whatnot is not for, like, not for curiosity's sake, but just to build up experience, which is why I did that all the time in Tales of Vesperia. Uh, we need to... We need to go to... Mission Memo. A Square Garden of Chandelier. Okay, so, um, Square Garden is, like, a level, uh... Is that level 2 or level 1? No, level 1 has, like, the, whatchamacallit. Or maybe it is on level 1. Where's where's the square garden? I just I just love the music. Oh, it's probably composed by Tanaka Kohei. Actually, yes, this is co composed by Tanaka Kohei. It's just one of those things. Um, I already I've already said this before, but in case I wasn't clear, um, um, the way that it works is you know Tanaka Kohei did all the, um, he did all the world songs, like all the songs that play like in the towns and in the like on the different levels and. Uh, like all the songs, that, most of the songs that play in the cutscenes, and then Sakura Motoi did all like the battle songs and all the dungeon tracks. So actually, I, Square Garden actually had two tracks. There was Square Garden Green and Red, which is the one that we heard in the previous recording session. But there's also uh, looking at the OST track. There's one called Square Garden White. So maybe we might hear Square Garden White this time. Who knows? Let's see. ごめんなさい。私が軽率でした。すまないわね。こんなことお願いして。いえ。あいつらも楽しんでますよ。よし、一応やってやるか。about playing Santa. As Santa, it's up to you to give all the boys and girls in Square Garden presents. Get all the presents delivered quickly and there may be a Christmas surprise in it for you, too. What? <laughs> Zephyr talking. Zephyr being a pervert as usual here. I... I oh we're we're legitimately carrying presents. Okay, can we? Like I thought that we were just gonna have to go through the dungeon dressed as like everybody and like. What? 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 <laughs> what is going on right now? I don't. Are they? Can these people? Can these kids kill us? Can they? Are they? We're, can we throw the presents at them? Oh my goodness! Since like we don't have like. Oh, these are like grenades. 
Uh, 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 what? What? <laughs> okay, well, this is a nice change of pace, I suppose. What? Why don't you have a... Here. Do you, do you want the green one? Do you want one from Leanne? Buddy? What do you want? Here, have your present. There we... What is going on right now? I am so... Oh, she's super happy, apparently. Here you go. Sounds like she has the same say as uh, the maid in, um... As the maid at Pater's Manor. Uh, what is... Well, it's a good thing that I opened up everyone's grenade, but... I'm s I never... <laughs> Remember how I said that anything was possible in this game? I wasn't kidding. Well, I, 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 I did admit, I did predict that maybe that we might have something to do with like children, but I thought it was gonna be like an escort mission or something. Like we had to like save like a hundred orphans or something, not like delivering. Will you stop running away, please? Is she gonna be the trouble child? Here, just take your present and ah, uh, yeah, she's gonna be one of those kids. Hey, get back here, kid. <laughs> okay, here we go. I, I know, like, I'm saying this over and over again, but I'm just... <laughs> I'm just... Merry Christmas, apparently. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, uh, let's see here. Well, I guess we just... Oh, yeah, this has to be... Yeah, so here it is. Let's give you a couple seconds to listen to it. Yeah, so this so this has to be Square Garden White. So like I said, it has two tracks. That's interesting. Oh, I guess technically four, because that's interesting. Hold on. Oh, nothing. Hold on. Uh oh, so this is the that was the purple. Okay, so that was the red path that we went through. Um, if you guys recall, I believe yellow is actually. Um, so honestly, like if I can just get away with like, is there gonna be a boss or anything? Is this just like a cooldown chapter for like this tour? Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, I feel like I'm gonna have to translate every single one of these, aren't I? Oh well, that's more fun for me, because I do learn quite a bit from doing these translations. And plus, it's not that plus like I get, like plus like on the like on the internet has like all these like transcribed right so um like even if I don't quite understand them I can always just find like like a handwritten thing in like in kanji oh okay I see so they, I didn't notice I wasn't paying attention to this like I was thinking you know since like we have like uh since they have like we're throwing presents at them we don't have to worry about health or anything but they do have health so that did did they just break Leanne's gauge? What? They broke Lee yet? I guess. Wow. Is it this? I feel like this is. Leanne is. She's stuck. Okay, so this, so this is really a super challenging dungeon in disguise. Despite the fact that we're delivering like presents to these children and everything, in reality, like we have to be careful. We can't let them get like a bombard us, or else they'll like. So, like, they can, like, break or get, like, they can basically, like, freeze us, potentially. That's kind of... Oh, boy. I completely forgot what I was talking- Oh, yeah, yeah, but, like, each, like, that's one thing, like, each, uh, both composers, Tanaka Kohei and, um, Sakura Bomotoe, they sort of had, they had to, they had to, um... No, I was actually talking about, like, the kanji thing, like, oh, yeah, it's not, it's not, like, it's not written, like, Romaji or anything, like, if you're, like, super, super beginner in the Japanese language, you won't be able to find them. And if you... You know, if you're someone who just knows all your hiragana katakana and quite a bit of kanji, and with G-Show to boot, you can figure out what they're saying, even if you can't, like, quite understand, even if you haven't quite trained your ears yet to understand everything. But, um, they actually have, like, they actually had to compose, like, two tracks for everything, right? Like, for Tanaka Kohei's case, because, like, he did, like, all the, um... He did, like, all the, um, whatchamacallit, like, all the, like, the world songs and everything. He had to compose, like, you know, like, because, like, the world has, like, a day and night cycle, he had to compose two songs for two tracks for everything. Daytime and nighttime track. For Sakura Bamotoi's case, he, he still had to compose two tracks for everything, but, like, every track is, like, an A track and a B track. So, basically, the way that it works is the A track is a track that's, that's like, the general track that you hear whenever, um, you know, everyone's... I wonder if, like, these presents are, like, timed or something. Like, if we don't deliver the presents quickly enough, 
they won't... This is so bizarre. This is so bizarre. <laughs> Exuberant girl, have your present. Oh my goodness. But, um, like, there's an A track and a B track, right? Like, the A track basically, like, it's like the song that, the general song that plays in the B track is a song that plays whenever you do, uh, like an hero action. So right now, we have the A track playing. What, what happens if we do a hero action? Like, will they, like, go crazy or something and drop their presents? We'll see. Alright, so this is the A track. Listen to it for a second. Alright, that's the A track. Now here's the B track. That's yeah. That's the one that the like the super like the the more energetic one that plays whenever. Um, are we gonna like level up or grenades with this? That plays whenever we do like hero actions or. Um, that plays. Oh, Merry Christmas! Whenever they when that when that blah, 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 that plays whenever we do like hero actions or uh, try attacks or anything of that sort. Yeah, that's the that's the B track. It's one of those things. So they had to compose twice for everything. I'm still... I'm not quite sure who composed most more songs, though. I want to say Tanaka Kohei did, for, though, because um, he did, like, all the world songs as well, like, because most, most of the songs, all the songs that play in the cutscenes, with the exception of, like, the ones that play... with the exception of, like, uh, like the one... the uh, like, the... sometimes they'll incorporate, like, battle songs into the cutscenes. All those were composed by him, too, so... I don't know. It was just one of those things. I like both tracks, because uh, they both incorporate a nice, interesting... Um, Wait, just just to be sure, there was only one path that we could go through, right? There's one path. Uh, no, there's like there's seek there's like a light blue path. But where is this light blue path? Light blue path, like blue from the uh, I was about to say the Lion King uh, from uh, the Jungle Book. So there's supposed to be a blue path, but I don't think that we can access it. Okay, so I think that this is like the cooldown, we're gonna have to leave, and there's gonna be like some bandits or something that we're gonna have to fight or something. Make- to save Christmas! <laughs> I- I just... Like, I- I keep saying this, but like... Like, I was like, I thought that like, fighting in these suits was bizarre enough, but delivering presents is just... It's enough. Some children have not yet received presents, what are you- Wow. Okay. Let's go back to- let's go back to this area. I was getting towards the end of the episode, huh? I just... Santa's Little Helpers. Alright, so, um, I think, let's go down the uh, burgundy path here. So, I, I, I think that the challenge for this is that we have to clear out every single one of these rooms, so it's gonna take about as long as a normal dungeon. Um, mm, this is where, this is, this is why I'm glad that I, I leveled up, like, everyone's grenades, because, like, Leanne, who's the weak... <laughs> <laughs> okay, delivering happiness to everyone. That's 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 Leanne's motto, I suppose. Anyway, let's go ahead and get. Yeah, I'm really gonna have to translate every single one of these conversations, aren't I? That's amazing. Oh, not too big. Not too bad. Not too not too bad. Not too big. Not too vague. Not too leg. Hey kid, how's it going, expectant boy? How's- here's your present. <laughs> oh my god, they're crowding me, they're crowding me! Get away from me, kids! Now I know- now I know what, like, Santa- like, those guys who dress up as Santa Claus feel like during, like, mall season. Or- cr mall season? What's mall season, exactly? During Christmas season. That should be, uh, interesting. Oh, there's a kid right behind me. How's it going, kid? Uh, expectant boy, do you want a present? I can charge up twice, I have level 9 grenades. Here you go. Aw, oh, and he's complaining too! Come on, kid! Ugh, frickin' uh, Leanne's, Leanne's, uh... Oh, we're uh, pretty much at the end of the episode, so uh, Leanne is... I guess we'll end off right here. We have <laughs> Zephyr dealing off with this kid who's expectant and kind of a whiner. Leanne is being bombarded by children, and we're about to do a hero action with Vasher and Akrapas. See you guys in the next episode.